Hello Internet, and welcome to my new channel. I'm Logan Kapler. This is my gay card. I know it doesn't look like much, but this is proof of my identity. Back at the start of my freshman year, I thought getting this thing, being the guy I am, was as easy as saying I'm gay. Boy, was I wrong. We're starting off with high school me, packing up to go to Lakeshore College, Central Florida. I was ready to leave my tiny little town of Kawachobi behind, and I was so sure the hard part was over. Say goodbye to my high school life and its weird unwritten rules. Say goodbye to my high school peers who were all such total tools. Say hello to people who get me, who see things more my way. Once I'm on that college campus, I know just what I'll say. Every step's a step on my own. Here I am clearing the slate. I'm erasing all that I've known and starting now. Life's great. I didn't have many friends in high school, but senior year when I realized I was gay, I knew things were going to change. If the internet taught me anything, it was that gay people are awesome. Therefore, I was going to be awesome. Unfortunately, my peers didn't quite agree. Wait, you're gay? But I've heard you say you've never once heard Gaga sing. No way. You don't wear pink. You know what I think. This is an attention thing. But soon I'll be in a life of my choosing and not one that chose me. And once I'm with my college buddies, I know they'll all agree. Every step's a step on my own. Here I am clearing the slate. I'm erasing all that I've known. And starting now, life's great. I was packed and ready to go. Unfortunately, I still had three months of summer left. Did I mention I tend to rush into things without thinking? I'm gonna join Lakeshore College's LGBTQQIA club. Summer was never ending. There was one gay guy in Kawachobi and we didn't click. They're gonna love me in this club. You're gonna join? I might just do the same. Well, being gay's my thing. But ally, it's in the name. Come on, you know I'm also gay. I told you last week and the week before. But Logan, if you're gay, it isn't cool anymore. Who needed some dumb LG whatever club? Lakeshore has something even better. A freshman dorm called Diversity House. They're gonna love me in this house. Hispanic, gay, or Jew, it's all okay. Inclusive is in their creed. Wow, dude, that really sounds gay. Glad you finally see it. My bad by gay, I more meant lame. Real gays are awesome and more cool than you. My new friends won't agree. But Logan, what if they do? Of course, there was no way that was gonna stop me from applying. Say goodbye to those high school kids and their stupid high school jokes. Say goodbye to the teenage minds in the small town high school folks. Say hello to what I know I'll find in that more inviting place. Of course I could do with some backup. I mean, well, just in case. All right, last day in Kawachobi. I made a checklist. That's Melanie, my best friend since middle school. Final froyo, check. Finish packing, check. Loading the truck, check. Get gas, check. Say yes to living in diversity house. I sent in an application for you. This is about the gay thing again, isn't it? Maybe. If I'm gonna get my mathematics degree in three years, I can't be filling up my schedule with so many extraneous activities. Please, I need your help. Yearbook <laughs> pictures, SAT prep, AP calc, I only got through all that with your help. You are systematically hopeless. Exactly. I'll even throw in a Froyo date every Friday night for good measure. Well, that's a given. So, you want me to help you be gay in college? I want us to have an awesome college experience together. 
there for each other. We've always been there for each other. When others log off and sign out, no doubt, you've been my guarantee. When you're with me, I've got nothing to fear. Come on, let's make an incredible year. The past is the past, the future is here. Just think of what that could be. There for each other. Yes. We'll always be there for each other. That's what is constant, you and I. As for our past, say goodbye. Our high school town and its crass moronic spell. Say goodbye to our high school life. Nothing else could match that hell. Say goodbye to my high school friends. Sometimes people grow apart. Say goodbye to my high school self. Time to let this new life start. Say hello. Say hello to my brand new life With so many new things I can do Buy a book, learn to cook, try a drink, text a wink Take a pic, find a click, starting now! Welcome to Diversity House. Okay, so the RA manual says I have to say this. You are living in Diversity House, a living learning community at Lakeshore College devoted to understanding and celebrating diversity on our multicultural, future-focused campus. Blah, 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 get it? Okay, let's sign some forms. Uh, <laughs> July, right here. What kind of name is July? Well, my mom named me April. I mean, do I look like an April? I'm Corey. You're cute. Me? We should hook up later. I'd love to have you as my college first. Oh. Melanie? Whoops, darn. My name. So, living in diversity house. You guys psyched for this or what? So, did you figure it out yet? Figure out what? Corey? They're all yours. Corey and I have been playing Guess the Diversity. That's awesome. Well, I'm... No, no, no. That's not how it works. Okay. Let's see. Mm. Mm, okay. Uh, lesbian and... Uh, ooh, tough one. Scientologist. Not even close. I am... Logan? Bah! Okay, be right back. I know the suspense is killing you. Conclusions. Scientologist, lesbian. Lesbian. Uh, that explains it. I'm not a lesbian. Oh, that's too bad. Then why are you here? I'm here for Logan. You see, so he's... you were totally wrong about me being a Scientologist. Dustin? Yo! What do you think his thing is? Jewish? No, they only come here to retire. Stop by my room later if you need any, uh, mentoring. That seemed inappropriate. <laughs> Talk about a sexually charged house, right? I don't really do sex. I mean, I don't do relationships. I mean, I don't think You know, uh, speaking of sexuality, I, uh... Graham? Graham? Anybody? Sorry, I'm here. <laughs> You're late. Yeah, my flight was delayed and it was a rough start. 
Looks like someone needs to be soothed. I give great back rubs. Weren't you hitting on me a minute ago? I'm bisexual. I'm attracted to beauty and passion. I don't discriminate. You're bi? Bisexual, I'm... people! That is so cool! Uh, are you bi, Graham? Oh, wow. We're really making that the first question? If you gotta know, I'm gay, but... I'm gay, too. So, Graham, sign your papers. Did you guys hear me? I'm gay. That's... that's nice. We saw all these uh, shirtless swimmer guys on the way here. Dream boats. I'm sure they're straight, but... I'm sorry, but... <laughs> you don't seem gay. I know he can come off that way. The old clothes, the sad hair, the desperate puppy dog thing. I totally thought he was straight for Not years, but... Not healthy. Do I come off as straight or something? Dude, no. Freshman, it's not about being straight. Gay people are awesome. Right, therefore, I'm awesome. Therefore, you don't seem gay. Not twinky gay, not nerdy gay, not bro gay, not gay. <laughs> gay card revoked, am I right, guys? <laughs> Wait, uh, uh, what's a gay card? It's supposed to be like proof that you're quote unquote true gay. It's really narrow minded. And he took that away? Can he do that? Are we done with checking? Yeah, yeah, go uh, party it up. Uh, Justin, how about that mentoring? <laughs> well, I do want to learn as much about diversity as possible. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. July, Graham, moving out of my place. I've got this leopard print couch that is so soft. Melanie, you're welcome to join us. I'm totally in. The room's kinda small. <laughs> Four is pretty much the limit. Movie starts in 10 kittens. You'll get them next time. Next time. We should get Froyo, celebrate our first night at college. I'm not in the mood for Froyo. Logan, they were just kidding around. You shouldn't- Look, you better get going. Don't want to miss the start of the movie. What does it matter if people don't think you're gay? It's your sexuality. It's kind of personal anyway. It doesn't define you. Come here. It's Donald Sutter's Facebook page. So what? And Richie Walters. And Eric McConnell's, where are you going with this? All throughout high school, I sat in my bedroom, wishing to be someone else. Okay. Staring at Facebook and scrolling through pictures and wishing to be someone else. But this was my chance here, the thing that would save things and save me from who I was then. Yet here I am sitting, and staring at Facebook and wishing to be someone else. Again. Here's a picture of a person that we knew from our hometown. It's his first night at a new school and a whole lot's going down. He tries a shot of Smirnoff, strikes a pose, then someone chats his ear off, and no one knows. Back in high school, he was nothing. Now a new life's come along, and the way he's smiling shows. What it feels like to belong Every picture that I look at Is a story much like his 
people finding new beginnings undeterred by how life is once posing like a model so carefree once playing spin the bottle why not me they all fit in what's their secret tell me where have i gone wrong will i ever get to see what it feels like to be long This is the guy who's gone his whole life Always feeling pushed off to the side This is the guy who'd give all he's got To finally feel he can join in the ride I want love, I want friends And a story that ends with me bidding my old self goodbye and changing the kind of guy I am to a person in a picture with a whole crowd by his side. We are laughing, we are dancing, and the world has opened wide. I'm staying out till morning And what's more I am happy I am wanted I am handsome, bold, and strong No more clawing at life's heels I am living in ideals And my smiling face reveals What it feels like to Ding dong. It's a public space. There's no need for a doorbell. I think you're the only person who still uses the computer lab. <laughs> Thought you might need a caffeine boost. I've just been browsing in the, the section nearby, brushing up on my queer literature, and stuff like that. No offense, but I took you for more of a jock. Not so into the queer. Or the reading. Oh, well, you caught me. I'm actually a secret evil jock attempting to destroy Diversity House from the inside. I didn't say evil. Well, let's just say I'm trying to expand my horizons. What class is giving you this much work this fast? It's not for class. I'm doing research for Logan about how to make people believe he's gay. You're not serious. I'm always serious. Well, uh, maybe this is a duh thing, but you've checked this out, right? Where did you find this? I may have had to do some in-depth Googling to write my entrance essay for Diversity House. I've been looking for something like this all day. Now, it's not super popular or anything, but it seems pretty new, and it looks like the writer actually goes to Lakeshore crazy, right? It's perfect. I'm texting Logan right now. How can I thank you? Well, since we're all going clubbing later, maybe save me a dance? Have a drink with me? <laughs> if this is some sort of romantic proposition, I have to decline. Look, if this is about Danielle, her and I are just hooking up. Oh, it's nothing... You two are hooking up? Foot, meat, mouth. I guess I'm kind of sucking at defying this whole jock impression thing. It's fine. I don't actually do dating. I have a plan. It's very thorough and it doesn't have time for much distractions. Except for helping your friend be gay. Logan tends to be the exception. I got your text. <laughs> that was fast. Well, see you around, Melanie. Bye, Justin. He's totally into you. <laughs> Irrelevant. Say thank you. Thank you. Why am I thanking you?
I've solved all of your problems. The gay card blog. A novice homosexual's guide to being gay in college. Don't have your gay card? Lost your gay card? You've come to the right anonymous internet personality. I don't know about this. Do you want them to believe you're gay or not? Listen. Getting your gay card means fun. Getting your gay card means sex. Getting your gay card means you belong. Subscribe to me and you'll get it. I'll give you a chance to read it over. How is this supposed to help me? Gay card blog post number one. I am your fairy blog father. Came out. That should be enough. Bad news. Coming out to the easy part. Now you gotta find out which kind of gay guy you are. Preferably by the end of your first semester. My data suggests you've only got a 5% chance after that. I'm doomed. It's daunting, oh hell, I know. Yeah, yeah. And I say, boy, find a type you fit. An airy twink. A pinky bit. A pinky square. It's, it's out there. there. I'll wise you. I'll wise you up. An otter that's hotter, perhaps. A gay girl that's way more bro than a straight bro. Hey, so. There's a million different scenes for you to do. And among them, you will find. My quest for my gay card had begun. I would tell you about my excursion to the mall that afternoon to buy some new clothes, but it's honestly just too shameful to talk about. We'll skip ahead to that evening. How's this for the club? Depends. What are you going for? Sort of a Roderick Richards look. Uh, who? Roderick Richards. The star of Life of Rod. Winner of this year's Orlando Gay and Lesbian Film Festival. Wasn't that film basically softcore porn? Exactly. Ugh. You're like this girl I dated over the summer. She was a delicate flower on the inside, but she contorted into a gross, perverted beast on the outside. She was denying her inner spirit. It was a desperate plea for attention. Are you calling me desperate? You do have the whole greedy bisexual thing going. That is an offensive stereotype. 
Very offensive. Melanie, isn't that offensive? Sorry, what are you guys talking about? Graham, I expect you to dress up extra hot for me tonight to make up for that rude comment. Please, I wouldn't be caught dead at a gay club. It's time. Time for what? Are you all set? Members of Diversity House, I would like to introduce you to the fabulous, new and improved homo of homos, Logan Kepler. You ready to party? I am. Gay card blog post number five. For the novice gay starting out his quest for his gay card, perhaps a classical approach is best. The twink, with his youthful look, tight clothing and skinny physique, just screams classic gay. The twink pairs nicely with a night of clubbing, and is highly recommended for any college gay who foresees many nights on the dance floor in his future. A word of caution, the twink is only for a select body type. Those the above super skinny, skinny need not apply. apply. What? happened to you? New look. You like? It's tight. Like cool tight? <laughs> like she hopes you have a backup when it rips tight. Hey, everybody here? Whoa, whoa. Oh, you've got to warn people before they see all of um, that. Anyway, uh, do we got a DD? Anyone? Oh, Graham, get up here. You're gonna be our designated driver. And why would I want to drag your butts to some lame gay club? It's... Did you lose a bet? I'm a twink now. This I've got to see. Fine, I'll drive. <laughs> Perfect. All right, Justin, the laminator. Good boy. What's that for? For fake IDs. You're in luck, freshman, because not only is your RA hot and fabulous, she also has a talent for the art of, uh, forgery. You're either the best RA ever or the worst RA ever. I can't decide. <laughs> but we're 18. We can get into clubs at 18. Yeah, but you can't drink. And trust me, you do not want to be sober at a club. <laughs> All right, everybody, pick who you want to be tonight and I'll create your new persona. Shouldn't we just be ourselves, but older? You think it's all that simple. You think that you're enough. You think that you're such hot stuff. That you will be immortal. You think you're up to par. This ain't no small town gay bar. This is portal. The hottest gay club in Central Florida. Look, you're all freshmen, hormones racing deep inside you. But clubs are crazy. Driver, parking's a fiver. Bags should be small. Have friends you can cling to, iPods to sing to. But most of all, you will need a fake ID. Memorize this brand new you, and I promise you will see. Life is great for people. First time at a gay club. The lights, the music, it's beautiful. What do I do now? Get out there and dance. Get your groove on, so to speak. Texting my competition. Taking notes. People watching at clubs is priceless. Can I buy you a drink? No. Guys who don't give a fuck are hot. <laughs> Guys who don't give a fuck are also not interested in you. I call this move the Kapler. <laughs> That's embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> 
Maybe dancing's not my thing. Okay, come here. What are you doing? Demonstrating. You've gotta break out. Gotta shake it like you got one. Put out an image. And it better be a hot one. Dance to the groove right. Get every move right. Guys, get in sync. If your persona drinks a Corona, that's what you drink. you and what have you done with my best friend that was kind of fun right <laughs> amazing what a little research can do that's right girl looks like the geeks got a little bit of freak in her you're sure making an impression don't get distracted eye on the goal go <sighs> i don't think there's a single other lesbian here the straight boys found another target you're hot we should totally grind on each other. I'll pass. You've been staring at him for almost an hour. He's a fascinating subject. You want to come home with me? Mm, you want herpes? <laughs> That's the fifth guy who's hit on Graham tonight. Why are you counting? Come on, I know you want me. I need some air. <laughs> Hey. Hey. Strike out again, straight boy? <laughs> straight boy. That's me, right? <laughs> Meanwhile, you turned down every guy in there. You have a boyfriend back home or something? Boyfriend? No. <sighs> I, I, I don't hook up. If I took one of those guys home, we'd have sex, he'd make some lame excuse to leave and not stay the night, and never call me again. That's what they do. I'm just an object to them. Be grateful you're something to them. You're something too. Apparently straight. It doesn't matter what I think or anyone else. You've just got to be yourself. at me do i look unhappy no and i will tell you why i am who i am and don't give a damn if they hate that kind of guy look at me do i fit some model no it never works out well when you try to please all that guarantees is that your life is hell. It seems perfect at first glance, a life you want to hold. But if you could break the trance and really take a look at me, you could see there's options, there's more than Sounds to me like you're just afraid. Please. If I wanted one of those guys, I could totally get him. <sighs> Big talk. Hey, you want to take me back to your place? 
Uh, sure. Guess you're driving everyone home now. Now, do you still think it's a good idea to be a poser? I'll show you who's a poser. I am a geek type, king of the week type. Me, I'm a star. We all display it. And if we say it, that's who we are. Right? I could totally be a go go boy. Everyone's staring, we should totally make out. No, I'm serious. I I'm a great kisser, I swear. Look, I'll show you. I'm traumatized. I am literally traumatized. It was just a kiss. And a hell of a bitch slap. Do you want to know how often violence happens at Portal? Not often. That's the answer. It's like, it's like it's, it's like you defiled a sacred space. Guys, come on. Was it really that big of a deal? Honestly, I'm straight. And even I know he fucked up big time. Let's get going. Wait, where's Graham? He's supposed to drive. I have the keys. He asked me to drive us. <laughs> On second that, let's grab a cab. We don't need any of his bad karma polluting us. <laughs> I'll join you. No self-respecting gay guy will talk to me if I'm seen with him. Let's go, Justin. I'm annoyed and horny. Danielle, don't. Up, 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 is it less talking, more sexing? Not tonight. Fine. Hey, hottie. You want to come home with me? Okay. Oh, details, details. That was literally the worst moment of my life. So a bunch of drunk people are mad you got them kicked out of a club. They won't even remember it in the morning. Where'd everybody go? They cabbed it. What happened to your hookup? I decided I wasn't in the mood. I took his number. Can I have my keys back? Ready to head out? I'm starved. We should grab Steak and Shake. You know, I think I'm gonna grab a cab too. Come on, straight boy. I'm not gonna... It's fine. I'll come with you. It's cool, really. Come on, we'll get Froyo at a place that's open. I gotta figure out my next move. Then I'll help. Look. I'm grateful you found the, you know, but your help in there? You're a girl, a straight girl. I mean, what do you know about being gay? That came out wrong. I, I didn't, I promise, once I figure this all out, everything is gonna be great. We'll have lunch tomorrow or maybe dinner or what, you know what? I'll text you, so much to do, but it's all good, it's all good. Jeez, he's not the greatest friend on earth. You okay? I'm fine, <laughs> of course. Why wouldn't I be? I'm sure he's just freaking out and not thinking. I promise I'm fine. Look, why don't you guys go get the car and meet me by the entrance? Heels, you know? Just in case you get cold. What do you know about being gay? What do I know? I know quantum mechanics. I know how airplanes fly. I know hydrodynamics. 90 digits of pi. I know this situation would make so many cry. But frankly, that's dumb, and here's why. It's all my alone time that forced me to read and led to the knowledge I tell. So more of my own time is just what I need. I've got it all figured out. I know how 
to compile plans for reaching each goal. How to choose what's worthwhile, how to keep in control. I know Logan has come here with a lost, lonely soul. Thinking that here he'll be whole. But this campus, these students, they're only a blip. This isn't what life's all about. And I'm blessed with the prudence to choose to press skip. To have it all figured out. So I don't know why they think I'll fall apart here. Why they act like I've got a broken heart here. I don't need clubs or loads of friends or double shots of Jack. I'm good. He's good. It's gonna be better, it's gonna be better I just need to find the right fit Some characteristic, that's not too simplistic I could be artistic, that's it I'm allowed a couple errors I'm allowed to get things wrong Cause I'm bound to get it right in not too long Then it's gonna be better, it's gonna be better When I find a way to belong Gay Card Blog Post Number 27 Perhaps the opposite of the upbeat twink is the understated art fag. Now, before you get offended, it's totally okay to use the word fag here. Its use is ironic. It makes a statement, much like the art fag himself. <laughs> What's with the funeral clothes? Oh, these? I'm an art fag now. What's an art fag? Them. <laughs> they don't get his significance. He's in the fabric of art history. She wore hall. It's so sad. These imitators can't see. So what makes all these paintings art? They're having sex with dicks like candy corn. Oh, see, this stuff is cutting edge. It's art emerging from porn. Porn? Porn? Only an imposter would say that. <laughs> art fag, huh? Who wants free cheese? I'll grab free cheese. I should see if he's okay. You can't. You have to see the panorama wing. It'll change your universe. Come on. Don't let the straight boy ruin the day. I guess I'll see him back in the house. I've gotta be better. I've gotta be better. Okay, take a breath and review. The twins were too cheeky. The art fags were freaky. Perhaps something geeky would do. Let her go with her new buddies. 
Let them hang out, I don't care Cause I guarantee they're gonna want me there When I've got much better, it's gonna be better My life will be awesome, I swear A card blog post number 44 If you're striving to level up in your quest to discover your inner gay, perhaps the gamer Pun intended and essential Might be right for you Straight people have one name for a hairy guy. Hairy. Gay people, we've got bear, otter, cub. How many tiny variations do we need to classify? Hmm. I like that. I think I'll write it down. What do you do with all these fascinating observations? I keep a digital journal. Can I read it? It's private. We'll get yeah, top we're score we're and never we're less. We're, we're members we're of the we're LGS. We're Just remember, if you want to be a gamer, you better be serious. Noobs are not welcome. Howdy, housemates. Meet my new friends from the Lakeshore Gaming Society. They're gamers. Clever, right? A pleasure. I love the LGS, I do. But there is one thing I cannot forgive They're so blind to how all games are so heteronormative Now come on, that's hyperbole You're making judgments on unfounded whims Think of Persona, Mass Effect Need I mention The Sims? Oh no, he's a casual Abort! Abort now! I feel bad He's the one who didn't want you around. Well, right now I'm your priority. If I don't pass quantitative reasoning, they're going to kick me off the swim team. But you hate swimming. But I love swimmers. Please, Melanie. <laughs> You're hopeless. Say goodbye to my high school life. That is what I said hi to. Here I am in my college life, and I've gotta see this through. I've got the drive, a blog here to guide me, I should be doing fine. So what the heck could I be missing? I need a freaking sign! Courses. Do you ever wonder where those guys come from? Chances are they were Akahomos, gay members of acapella groups. These people are like campus superstars. I love a beat drop, don't let the heat stop. Keep up the fun, keep the lights blinding, keep the soul grinding. We're never done. Don't you love a fake? Living like a brand new you. Sweet pipes, right? Can I join? Can you do backflip? No. Beatbox? No, but I can sing. Please, singing is the lowest priority. I liked your performance. Please don't make fun of me. I'm not. I was... I miss you. Seems like you've been having plenty of fun. That's not fair. I'm sorry. Look, I'm tired. I'm stressed. Are we ever hanging out again? We'll go to Pride together. How about that? Okay. Well, you take care of yourself. Yeah. It's gonna be better. It's gonna be better. There's so many choices I've got. There's being poetic, some brand new aesthetic, or maybe athletic. Why not? Sure, it's all a bit confusing, being who I want to be. 
But it won't be so confusing once I see My whole life getting better It's gonna be better Once I found a much better me October hit and I was getting desperate. I was ready to try anything. I mean, anything. I even started exercising. Uh, are you having some sort of attack? Brandon! I'm a gay bro now. Corey, come help me pick more flowers for my shrine. Logan is getting too weird for me. <sighs> People watching never stops being amusing. Impressive game of musical gay boys have been playing these last few weeks. What are you today? Gay, bro. Ah, very fitting. I've always thought of you as athletic. I could lift that much since I was like 12, bro. But could you do it after an all-night kegger? The bros have come. Gotta go. When was the last time you really worked out? Last week. Last month. Never. It doesn't matter. They're bros. They work out and they drink. If you're gonna be stupid, at least put a little thought into it. Okay, I've tried to be nice to you, but standing there lecturing me, it's crap. It's hurtful and spiteful and just crap. So boo to you, boo to Diversity House, boo to everyone. Has anyone ever told you that you talk like a dork? Great. They're gone. A tragedy. How do you do it? Do what? You walk around telling people you don't give a damn about what they think and they love you. Want you. If I did that, no one would even notice I existed. Must be nice to have it so easy. Easy? Come here. Why? Just do it. there in the gym shorts what do you see what do you see a swaggering coolness everybody like him sports and that's what i see i don't agree he's pulling his shirt away from his chest that means he thinks he's fat his hair sitting out he's getting depressed that's why he wears a hat did you see all that can you see all that? Step back, keep track. You'll complain, but I insist. A point of view less fixed on you shows you so much that you've missed. You try. I don't see how this helps. I'm sorry. Which one of us got kicked out of a gay bar, a game club, and an acapella group in the past two months? Okay, there's a girl and her makeup is smeared up. What does that mean? What does that mean? Her guy went and dumped her and she ran off and teared up. Open and shut. Possibly, but. But what? But. And aren't there some hints of some stains on her skirt? And a smart restraining bleed. That guy's messy too, but they rolled in the dirt and hooked up behind that tree. Now you'll start to see. Well, hey, look at me. Step back, keep track. Sure, it's not how most exist. So Have you all seen Justin? Mm, she's wearing a new top. New top, Daniel? <laughs> you had eyes. I'm so proud of you. I don't know how you do it. Do what? 
most people are stuff that bold and you just pull it off so well. I think you have to have a certain inner confidence, you know? I think you're right. You know, freshman, you're growing on me. Maybe you're a little more awesome than I thought. Well, if you see Justin. That's how you do it, straight boy. I'm just getting started. That girl whose outfit says Queen Bee seems like she'd act elite. You'll see her with a group of friends and you notice that she's sweet. You think that quiet nerd is nice, but his typing is a sign of how he's some whole other person when he gets online. This whole mess is confusing when you're trapped inside the dim. Stepping back is so freeing, who would ever step back in? You would never step back. Look at that guy looking so darn disdainful. What about him? Well, how about him? So damn awkward, it's painful. What about him? Some call him mysterious, distant, but cool. Some think his act is sad. They both think the other one seems like a tool. But he might not be so bad Well, this guy'd like to add That sort of makes him glad Well, I should go. The gay bros won't wait forever. <laughs> Thanks for the advice. Logan. Same time tomorrow? Step back Keep track, cause life loves to throw a twist. You're walking blind, and then you'll find that right is you, is someone who, or something that you. And like that, Graham and I were hanging out every day. Look, I'm just saying I've watched a lot of my friends come out, put themselves out there, and get their hearts broken. Gay guys are selfish jerks. That's the way it is. Okay, yes, some are, but you can't possibly think every guy is like that. Most of the ones I've met, but... I'm open to changing my mind. A breakthrough. Gonna add that to your journal. <laughs> I'm taking a break from it. Not as much fun as it used to be. I breathed easier around him. Like, for once in my life, I didn't have to try so hard. So, what's the deal with you and Melanie? We still hang out. Kind of. Well, don't lose her. She seems like a good friend. Yeah, she is. Before I knew it, weeks had passed, and I hadn't looked at the blog once. Any plans for Pride? I don't know. I mean, there's still time. Not much. It's next week. Next week? You gotta find out which kind of gay guy you are. Only a 5% chance after first semester. Tick tock. After Pride, the semester was gonna be over. I had to get back to work. But then the strangest thing. The Gay Card Blog has been suspended. They were passing out pride flyers. The gay film star Roderick Richards is going to be there. Corey was dying. And I was thinking maybe we could go together. Maybe I'm an otter. Or a gypster or an Annie gay. Why is every type an animal or a pun? God, this again? I'm missing something fundamental. I mean, who cares if I dance well? 
or know about Warhol's work or have a mental index of Logan. your characters. In Logan, video step back, keep track. Big picture, what really matters here? Step back and see objectively and notice what I have. Sex! That's a little forward, Logan. No, 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 I mean, being gay is about sex. It's called sexual orientation, so yeah. No, look around. Why is everyone putting on all these personas? What was every person in Diversity House angling for the second we all met? Why do we go to clubs, join random groups, wear stupid clothes? Sex, it's so simple. Okay, but what does that solve? Everything. Graham, I'd love to go to Pride with you. Hey there, Melanie. How are you? Start telling me. This day's like wow, and you're like wow, and something not a felony. It might need a little work. So, do I look properly bedazzled? You look great. This is my first gay pride. I'm surprisingly stoked. Surprisingly? Well, yes, it's so quintessentially diversity house. When I first moved in, I thought I hated stuff like that. Well, what changed your mind? I don't know. The events, the people, the camaraderie of it all. Oh, God, I sound like Logan. You know, there's an after party tonight. I'm still waiting on that dance. Or are you going to deny this humble ukulele player once again? Well, I didn't know about the ukulele before. The ukulele changes everything. Really? Absolutely not. <laughs> Besides, I'm pretty sure Danielle would disapprove. Oh, please. She'll find the only other straight guy at the parade and... Well, we're just hooking up. What did I expect? I'm sorry. It's funny. I think I'm basically the exact type of person I didn't want to be in college. One dance couldn't hurt. Maybe Logan and I will make our way to the party. You and Logan are spending the day together. Yeah, just like old times. We all set? Set for what? To go to Pride together. Right. Uh, right, of course. Uh, Graham's joining us. Uh, I hope that's cool. Oh, yeah, I guess. Uh, I, I just... promise it's still 100% Melanie plus Logan time. Just like the power of Graham. Don't hate me. You're here. That's what matters. What more could I possibly want? Whatever came before now, today we've got it made. Cause nothing, I mean nothing, will rain on my pride parade. Whatever came before now, today we've got it made. Cause nothing. I mean nothing will rain on my pride Hooray! All right, diversity house, let's go. The time is here and I'm so damn stoked. It's like a Christmas day. Erotic spirits have been evoked. Let's let them lead the way. So pumped, I like die. Hey, should I maybe dress up in drag? It's all cool and pride, endless fun, shirtless guys, flying flags and cloudless skies.
should we do? Pole dancing booth, <gasps> sex toy table, dunk, a drag queen. You know what would be awesome? You should find out where Roger Richards is gonna be. I'm stoked to see him. Okay, I suppose I can do that. Be right back. Alone at last. Not that I have a problem with. Um, I wanted to ask you, see, I've been having these, I've been having a lot of fun these past few weeks and I'm realizing that I want, or well, hope that you feel. Um, uh, Corey, Corey seems like a real Roger Richards fan, right? I mean, he's gonna make the house go see him. Are you listening to me? He's on a float near the side of the parade. Perfect. They're starting the parade, they're starting the parade. Shall we? Logan, I'm trying to talk to you. I hear you, Graham. We're having fun. So let's keep having fun. Come grab my hand and let's head down front. What can I tell you no? Hey guys, wait up. While you're on the hunt, don't want to miss the show. I see the flows coming down the street. Gather around, find a spot. Now they're one hot pair, aren't they, folks? Logan? Trust me. Now don't get too frisky. You'll make the rod jealous. Wouldn't dream of it. Whoa! It's Logan <laughs> making out with Roderick Richards! All right, I'm saying it. Gay card returned 100 times over. he was going to do that no but i guess i shouldn't be surprised i'm sorry yeah me too oh my god did you see that did you see that it's hard to miss it some random guy just invited me to some exclusive event at portal me can you imagine i'm kind of awesome i mean really i'm kind of awesome you're kind of a dick Excuse me? You heard me. Did I do something? I mean, where to start? For one, you completely ignored me all day, even though this is the first time you've given me more than 10 minutes in more than a month. Oh, and you know, there's also using Graham to make out with some gay porn star. Graham's not my boyfriend. I didn't do anything wrong, right Graham? Right. See? Okay, Logan. I have to say this. I know that this is a really insanely confusing time for you, and I've tried to be supportive, but ever since you came out, you've been changing, and not for the better. I want the guy I knew back. Newsflash, Melanie. This is not about you. <laughs> there for each other. What happened to there for each other? The best friend that I always knew Wouldn't do the things that you've gone and done He wouldn't miss what's in front of his face He wouldn't
wouldn't leave his friends dangling in space He wouldn't abandon himself just to chase A few meager moments of fun There for each other Remember we're there for each other I'm begging you don't be so desperate Take my advice, speech. Be sure of yourself a medal or two. Did you ever think while you're giving this nice speech that all that I want is to be more like you? Sure of who I should be, sure that people agree, and by some bit of luck that's come true. Being an ass. She's trying to look out for you. I mean, come on. Ah, uh, yes, the cynic with more observations of how to bet it to run with the crowd. A perfect duet to the nerd's declarations of how she's above the one and she's proud. God, what saints you proclaim. I call bull. What you want, go. Live it up. I hope it's everything you expect. You really hurt him. Logan, stop. What is your deal, Melanie? You're not my mother. You're not my sister. You're not my girlfriend, God forbid. So what do you care? Leave me alone. Get your own life. Gay Card Blog, post number 154. Hello, readers. I'm back. Did you miss me? I have to start off with an apology. I've been overcomplicating things. The guy I know made an excellent point the other day. Being gay is about sex. Displaying sex, chasing sex, having sex, sex, and absolutely nothing else. And isn't it fucking fantastic? So embrace it. Enjoy it. Enjoy yourselves. I know I will. Glad you called, Hattie. I sure will. What made you change your mind? I've spent so much time taking notes and observing. This might be the time to put them to the test. What purpose is all I've been writing, been serving? I don't go out and have fun like the rest
Life is better when you get it on. Muscles have to be flexed. See how fun, then say bye bye, bye or gone. gone. And we're on to the next. We're in the mood for parties and random sex. Grinding free up. All girls and guys wish that they could be a You're one of us. When I came back from winter break, everything was different. Like, really different. To the sexiest gay boy at Lakeshore College. I like the sound of that. We heard about your son at Pride. You're a legend. I am kind of awesome. So, how do you feel about threesomes? That was hot. How about being regular? One time only. Non committal. I'm into that. The, the trick, trick to staying, staying on, top on top in the gay, in the gay world, world is to be wanted, be wanted but, but distant. distant. Have, have fun, fun, have sex, sex but never, never let, let anyone get too close. close. That I makes you vulnerable. I love threesomes, but I do them with tens, not sevens. All nice feelings are completely fake Put a shield on your heart Best to make somebody else's break Then have yours turn apart Time rolls along You have what you think you want But were you wrong? As Abercrombie One of us They know who the bomb is Boys want your flesh Like a hungry zombie You're one of us My car is really roomy Uh, you know, I got an early class So I shouldn't Huh, guess my friends were right about you What do you mean? They say you're a tease You never fuck anyone you know Logan? Unfortunately. We tried to do a three-way with him. Didn't happen. I heard a rumor he's secretly still a virgin. Can you imagine? A, a gay, gay card, card can, can be lost just, just as quickly as, as it was earned. earned. One, One hint that, that it's not truly deserved and it's, it's gone, gone in a flash. flash. Your friends are wrong about me. I just don't do cars. Take me back to your place. And BJ's One of us. birthday suits your PJs. Wait, stop. I I'm sorry, I just I, I can't. God damn it, what's your deal? STD? Religion? I, I don't know. It just doesn't feel right. I'll go. Hey. Hey. Getting in pretty late. I always wanted to stay out till morning. Guess you've gotten over your aversion to hooking up. Guess there's no doubt you're gay now. Was he any good? Yeah. It was fun. Yours? The best. Like always. Well, uh, I guess I should get packed up. Spring break bus is leaving soon. Um, 
don't want to keep the house waiting. So like that, it was spring break. I've been having the best damn semester I could have asked for. So, why was it feeling so empty? Out of your mind, don't think about him. His little smirk, no, let it go. Out of your mind, you're fine without him. What could have been, no need to know. Leave it behind, or you will find it's gonna drive you out of your mind. Leave it behind, the past was shoddy. Somehow you'll find you can feel naughty Out of your mind and in your body You're one of us Spring break could not have come sooner. Every year the house went to a place on the beach that was pretty far from the normal spring break hotspot. I thought it was safe for the week. Oh, the sea spirits are beckoning, Melanie. Come for a swim? I'm all set with my book. You've been cooped up inside your room studying all semester. Why don't you swim with Corey? He's preoccupied. Thank God for the beach. It's great with your shirt off, Logan. Thanks, Corey. Have I told you how cute you are? Only once every day since November. I miss when you were hitting on Graham. Please. Grandma's old news. Come swim with us, July? I was hoping for some privacy. I wasn't. Fine, Justin, that's fine. Who wants you anyway? What are you all staring at? I, I want swimming and stripping and skinny dipping right now. All clear? Here so. Is everything okay? I did it. Did what? We're done. Finito. Over. That's... Wow. That's... Hey, Melanie. And Justin. I thought you'd be swimming or tanning or whatever you do. There's a red flag on the beach. Warning, angry X in water. <laughs> <laughs> You okay, Graham? Uh, it's no biggie. I'll find you later. I'm here now. Well, I was wondering if you've talked with Logan lately. I can split if you two, uh... I'm taking the noble gas approach with Logan, 100% non-reactive. Right. That's what I figured. Okay. I'll see ya. You're not so hung up on him or something. Me? No, nah, he's, you know, he can be all naive and stuff, and with all the guys he's been with lately, it's just, but I guess it's fine because uh, someone told me that there was a rumor that he wasn't going to go through with it anyway, so I'm probably just worried about nothing, if the rumor is true, but you wouldn't know. Not having sex, and then lying and saying he's having sex, sounds like Logan. So you think it's true? You are so hung up on him. Please, he's a poser, an ass. He... Exactly. So, walk away. He's not worth it. Believe me, I know. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Good. I'm serious. Good. Okay, good talk. Uh, I'll see you later. Enjoy your book. I'm sorry about Logan. I'm not. I've moved on. What were we talking about? It's not important. Uh, Breaking up with Danielle. That was it. You really care about him, don't you? You're getting off topic. For what it's worth, I don't think you should give up on him so easily. When you have something special like that, you shouldn't let it slip through your fingers. Nice sentiment. But Logan really hurt me. I get that. 
and all evidence points to the definitive conclusion that he doesn't care one bit about me. And after all, if you look at our history logically, <laughs> not this again. This again. <laughs> Give the guy a break. Hey, that's what this week is for. Have way more sun, have way more fun, have way less two best friends at war. Yes, he made a mistake. We all make them now and then. But give the guy a break and then try to start again. Well, you're definitely improving, but... We all need a break. Hey, believe me, I should know. The high school jock who walked the walk, never letting all his feelings show. Who joined this house to make a new start outside and in. Cause we all need a break. Freeing us from who we've been And it's okay to change your clothes, your habits, how you act And who you are is more a guessing game than solid fact And it's okay to fight, it's okay to make amends and it's okay to wish that you two were more than friends. I don't know if I like this song. Give yourself a break. You could use a bit less stress. Don't look so grim, cause loving him doesn't mean you're somehow any less. I mean, for goodness sake, you're a catch, a score, a steal. So give yourself a break from denying what you feel. Give yourself a break from denying what you feel. You think I'm in love with Logan? It's okay. That's not who I am, you're wrong. Proof enough for you? I don't know. I think you should prove me wrong again, just to be sure. All right, Diversity House, it's sunset and I'm only tipsy. We need to change that. Games? Games, anybody? Ring of Fire. Never have I ever. Or dare. Not a drinking game. Anything can be a drinking game. Drink when you truth or dare, drink when you're truth or dare. You can switch from a truth to a dare or a dare to a truth, but you gotta beat the other person in the waterfall. That sounds like a terrible drinking game. <laughs> oh, you little man whore. That sounds like a great drinking game. We're playing. Wait, what? I'm first. Logan, truth or dare? Dare. I dare you to make out with me. Should've seen that one coming. July, truth or dare? Truth. If you could have sex with any girl here, who would it be? Well, Melanie. Danielle, don't hate me. You wear feathers on a regular basis. Obviously your taste is questionable. <laughs> okay. Truth or dare? Mm. Proof. How many guys have you slept with since you started hooking up with Justin? None. I just like to look. Don't assume things. Logan? Hey, I already went this round. Not a rule we established, right, Corey? Right. 
Truth or dare? Dare. Okay. I dare you to go upstairs and have sex with Corey. That's way too far. That's not allowed. I don't think that's allowed. Were there some ground rules that I was missing? Oh, come on, Danielle. What? He hooks up with a new guy every night. Uh, well, sure I do, but they're all hotter than him. I'm switching. Truth. Waterfall, then. That I warn you, I'm the master. Right, boy, choke for your life, boy. Think what's at stake. All that you strive for will be deprived for one small mistake. Go! Don't give up your fake ID. Don't let people steal your fun. How soon you will come to see is that you found everyone. I win! Sorry, Corey. I tried. Okay. Truth. How about some delicious details? Which guys at Lakeshore have you fucked? Uh, which, which guys have I... Yes. Which guys have you fucked? Uh, Justin, truth or death? That's not how it works, freshman. Justin, truth. Were you and Melanie making out five minutes ago? Logan! Dude! She's the one, huh? Guess the nerd turned out to be as big as a slut as the rest of us. Take that back. Oh, relax. It's not like I care. I am curious, though, as to why a freshman here is so desperate not to answer my truth. What's the dirty little secret? The secret is Logan hasn't slept with anyone. Melanie. This whole persona he's got going on is completely fake. Well... Except for the part where he hurts his friends. That part's real. You had no right to say that. Yes, well, neither did you. Where are you going? Back to Lakeshore. Spending spring break here suddenly sounds excruciating. How the hell are you going to get there? Bus, train, jet ski, if necessary. No. No, 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 no. You can't leave. You need to go tell them that you were lying. You need to go tell them that you were mad and being spiteful. Spiteful? <laughs> spiteful. I've done everything I could for you. I moved into Diversity House for you. I found the gay card blog for you. I endured your shallow little quest for you. And for once I do something for me and you take that away? Because, God forbid, Logan Kapler ever lets his best friend be happy. How have I ever stopped you from being happy? I love you, okay? There, I said it. I love you. I know it's stupid, I know it's pointless, but I do. I love you, I always have. Well, that's not my fault, Melanie. I think you should leave, Logan. That's it? Leave. That's all our friendship. In math, when you have a problem, there's a quick way to resolve it. You read the problem, draw a picture, take simple steps to solve it. You make a table, list the factors, work them mathematically. But most important, If there might be anything extraneous. Melanie! Melanie, please! In life when your friend's a butthead, there's an easy way to fix it. You set your life goals, make a model, what doesn't fit you nix it. You take what's helpful, lose the baggage, work your life out logically. Most importantly, you don't defend a spiteful friend who's nothing but extraneous. Fine, fine. I'll fix it myself. Screw you. 
Though so much feels essential, our drives to Bay Point Heights, our confidential moonlight talks, our stupid movie nights. Fact is, the million things we shared have slowly dropped to none, and our once essential friendship is outdated. Finished, done. In time, all things have an ending, but the trick is to accept it. A friendship passes, that stuff happens. It's dumb to wish you kept it. You change your model, make adjustments, live your life adaptively. But most importantly, you say goodbye to any guy who makes you feel extraneous. Number 180, the bottom line. There is no love. Don't look for it. There's only being wanted and not being wanted. Except that. The game can be fun. Enjoy it. You don't need anything more. Out here in the open, someone could see. There's the point. You ready for this, tiger? Ready as I'll ever be. Stop. We're busy. Corey, give us a minute. <laughs> yeah, right. Now. Okay, jeez, jeez. What is it, Graham? Corey? I mean, come on. You did not come all the way out here just to judge Why are you me. doing this? Why are you doing this? Because I want to. Because you have to? I don't need to justify myself to you. No. No, you don't. Well, if we're done here... I just have to know one thing. Back in November, that pride, when you kissed me... Did you feel, or... Was it all a part of some plan? <sighs> You're one giant wall. Graham, even if I had felt something, how could I ever hope to break through? You couldn't, but you did. I hated to follow the trends. I hated to stay out too late. I hated to party with friends. Or go out on even one date I hated the clubs, the flirts, and the snubs I hated the whole damn trade Till you came along and said You're just afraid I hated the way you jumped in I hated how you never quit How you were determined to win How you were so certain you'd fit I swore you were dumb since I had become So sure of the choices I've made And never considered that I was just a as I've seen you flirt, as I've watched you dance, though a part of me hurt, another saw a chance to be 
the guy who says he'll try and leaps into the fray. Do not hold back, let armor crack, be brave enough to say. How you light up alone I love How you dance until dawn And when I go all doom and gloom You smile and that feeling is gone I've clung to my part I've walled off my heart But I swear I'll break down that blockade I don't want to let what we started just fade I know each mistake has a price to be paid But I cannot just stay in the place that I've stayed So please, won't you show me how not to be That night, Graham and I, you know. And afterward, I was lying there. Graham had already fallen asleep. He was beautiful. I laid there. I breathed in. I breathed out. And I realized I didn't want to be anywhere else. My journey created that connection. And it also broke it. Fake card blog post number 181 an I've read some of your comments over the last few months. Some of you say I'm growing cynical. Yeah, maybe. But there are times, times like now, when all that cynicism goes away. Most of the time, life is what you go and take. But sometimes, life sneaks in and finds you. And all you can do is save that moment for all it's worth. Good morning. Hey. It's early. Come back to bed. Sure. What were you doing? Oh, you know, checking my grades for midterms. All these, like I figured. But they don't get posted until next week. Yeah, well, they're all going to be A's, so... Everything's okay, right? Yeah, no worries. Let's just cuddle for a bit. <sighs> you weren't, like, messaging another guy, were you? No, of course not. Why would you think that? It's just, that's what you've been doing since November, so why would you... Just stop I because of one I told you. I told you last night how I feel. You're being a little defensive for someone who has nothing to hide. Logan, just drop it, okay? Then show me what you were doing. If we're gonna get anywhere together, you gotta trust me. Well, boyfriends don't keep secrets. Okay. I don't understand. Look, it's just something I do for fun, and it's- Is it You write the gay card blog. Yes, but- You! I I've been following this blog since August. You've been following the blog? Oh shit. You stood there and judged me for what I was doing, but looks like you'd already been there. Done that. No, you don't get it. I mean, the shit you've been pulling since Pride is one thing, but this has been around way longer. The whole time, you were partying, and fucking, and judging, and leading this whole double life, and that's when you fell in love with me. Or did you? I, I mean, you should clarify which Graham was the one who told me he loved I me I last do night. Love, I do love you. How can I believe you? How can I believe anything you say when there's this whole other person that you've been hiding? I never did any of the things in that blog. Not until after Pride. You're a liar. The blog was a joke, Logan. A commentary, a parody, a way of exposing how fucked up we can be. And that was, that was pretty obvious. 
If you followed it like a Bible, congratulations. Because you're the biggest idiot in all of Central Florida. Get out. We're done here. Do you okay, Logan? Graham, you're still here? Oh my god, you guys didn't. Well, what do you know? You are a man whore, Logan. Good for you. Yeah, good for you, right? I think we need to make it official, guys. You wanted your gay card. That's what the blog was all about. Here, congratulations, you got it. You finally belong. And that's really all that matters, isn't it? Fuck you, Graham. Fuck you! This is the guy who wanted a new life, who went out and found who he was. This is the guy who's happy he did it, enormously happy because, well, because, ah! You said that I light up a room. Yeah, right. You love how I dance until dawn. What a joke. Without you, my life can resume. And truth is, I'm glad that you're, I mean, look at me, look where I am now, it's perfect as can be, sure you can make fun of the things I've done, but come on, look at me, come on, look at me, I don't want you, I don't need you, and I'm glad that I belong, if you think that you hurt me well i'm sorry but you're wrong i mean who finds their true love at 18 who really wants to do love when they've seen endless fun shirtless guys every day is clear blue skies let the problems melt This is the guy who five minutes ago felt he was completely content. This is the guy who five minutes later feels so damn confused as to what all that meant. Because there in that bed, all the old fears were dead. But now that he said his goodbye, I'm left. To face the kind of guy I am. Hey. Logan? You're still here. The first bus doesn't leave for another hour. Listen, you should stay. I'm getting out of here anyway. As for back at school... It's- the problem's already been solved. You don't have to worry. I'm moving out of Diversity House. It was never really my thing anyways. I was only there for you. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry I dragged you along on my whole stupid quest. I'm sorry that I never stopped thinking of myself long enough to see how you felt. If we're being honest, I think I loved you because it was safe. Because deep down, I knew that you'd never love me back. But this year I wasn't safe. And I kind of liked it. That's what's so confusing. You'll figure it out. You're mathlete Melanie. You've got a plan. You know the formulas, the variables, the constants. I'm not sure there are constants, Logan. We both thought we knew what we wanted and who we were. And what are we now? 
the wild gay boy that everybody loves, the smart girl who's got it all figured out. You know what I think? I think we grab that bus, go back to Lakeshore, and spend spring break sitting in Diversity House watching stupid movies and eating froyo. The gay card blog has been deleted. What is it? It's nothing. Let's go. Teenage boy who thought some guys had no fear. Say goodbye to that teenage girl who thought answers would be clear. One year gone, the summer is waiting for hearing about day. If I think Back on all the things I said to my name. 
well, internet, that's my story. So what do you think? Did I find myself? Looking at some of these photos from second semester, you'd think so. Here's a picture and it's me there with a whole crowd by my side. I look happy and so certain, but guess what the picture lied? I wanted to go out and be like everybody else, but then I started learning about everybody else. And the crazy, scary truth is, I've been like them all along Past the faces that we show Past the hang-ups that won't go Don't we all just want to know What it feels like to Be long. But That's just my experience. What's yours? Leave your comments down below. I am a person who wants to be strong To need no one else to be whole But no, I may know that that's probably wrong It's scary to give up that kind of control I am a guy trying hard to branch out To see the unknown and dive in But sometimes it feels though you fight every doubt you can't catch a break from the person you've been But maybe, maybe the old and the new you Are pieces that have to meld And maybe, maybe It's time to ease up on the pressures you've always held Guess, Guess I'll figure it out as I go Let me be clear I want to earn my doctorate by the time I'm 25. I want a real career that doesn't take a backseat to anyone else's ambitions. I want to revolutionize mathematics with an astounding new discovery. <laughs> and I want you. Terrifying as that sounds. I want to drink Bud. I want to watch football. I want to go to gay clubs once a month for the hell of it. And I want to love you for not judging me for that. I am a series of roles that I play A diva who's got all the stuff But strip all those layers of costumes away I worry the girl underneath's not enough I am these feelings that cannot be tamed I am a person whose boundaries I put out with Who pride. looks to the stars as a I guide I shout to the world I that like I don't feel ashamed rebirth. But still there are fears that I lock deep inside But maybe, maybe I'm not really living If I'm not feeling fear And maybe, maybe There's truth in the playing Could be the line's not clear Guess I'll figure it, I'll out, figure it out As I go So, Logan and Graham really haven't? No but I saw Justin and Melanie holding hands at the library. Guess that's really a thing now. I wonder if Danielle... <laughs> Should have locked that down when I had the chance, right? Wanna go get drunk and dance it away? Nah, let's stay in. No booze, no dancing, just us. I could do a tarot reading. <laughs> that sounds... They're really good. Your responses have been amazing, guys. And for those of you who keep asking me about me and Graham, there isn't anything to tell. I guess sometimes life isn't so great. Baby, 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 baby. I've got a comment for you. My name is Graham Daniels, and truth be told, I'm the writer of the Gate Card Vlog. Talk about a hypocrite. I am the guy who lied to you all Pretended I was someone I'm not 
Well, I made a guy who I care for feel small Completely neglecting the feelings he's got But maybe, maybe we'll say that mistakes are just what it means to live And maybe, maybe we'll put them behind us Try again and forgive If I hadn't written that blog, if I hadn't followed that blog, I know you gotta hate me for what I've said. What's that? My gay card. The one you made me. You kept it? I mean, I worked awfully hard for it. You don't need it anymore. Yes, we'll figure it out. But sometimes, internet, life is awesome. Well, we've got summer break to get to, full of good decisions and bad mistakes, and I plan to embrace every single one, eventually. What do we say, guys? Until next time, followers! Have some fun, a career for the one thing that's clear starting now. We